Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So this is the latest variant. We're going to be going into Quest 2, that's the final quest of Chapter 2. And this is Polar Opposites, it's the latest variant to enter the contest. And first thing we're going to do is we're going to scout out these paths. Now you'll recall that I've often said that you can look for the one star chest and that should indicate the difficulty of the path. Well, in this quest, you're going to see why I say that that's not always the case. All right, so to the far left, those two paths right here that have three star chests, I consider them to both be quite easy to deal with. All right, there's nothing too difficult here. So either one of those paths are the ones that I would choose to do your first initial clear. Stay away from that cord. And this path here, all the way to the far right, has the one star chest, but it also has two star uh, chests on it. But it's probably the most difficult path in this quest. So save that one for last. For your initial clear, just go ahead and take one of these paths to the left. Now, you see the team that I've gone in here with. So I'm thinking in terms of using Ghost and Sentinel, but honestly, it was just a matter of preference. Either one of those paths are going to be quite easy. All right, very straightforward. Now, let me talk to you a little bit about the global nodes. You've got four that you want to be aware of. Apex Manufacture, Composite Construction, Stack Overflow, and Overclock. So Apex Manufacture gives Sentinel 100% more true damage, okay? And he also gains analysis charges even faster, which is very nice because my Sentinel is not awakened. And when he goes up against a mutant and he has this global, it is insane how fast he gains those charges. Uh, composite Construction... Uh, gives all tech champions an immunity to ability accuracy modification. Now, I don't know whether this is still the case, but it was bugged, and I think it was giving all classes that immunity. But it is what it is. By the time you see this video, that may already be corrected. Uh, Stack Overflow, uh, each additional tech champion on your team is going to increase the duration of debuffs by 10%. So, say you don't have Ghost or Sentinel, but you do have a Spider-Man Stark Enhanced. You can bring him in along with, say, Miles Morales, who will increase the duration of his debuff, and then fill out your team with other techs. And that'll allow you to get a very, very long stun duration. And because Spider-Man Stark Enhanced has a guaranteed stun on his special one, you can have a little fun with it. Build up almost to a special two, fire off the special one, stun them, and just keep building up to your special one again. And at some point in time, because it's not infinite, at some point in time, you're going to get to where you can only build up to a special one and you're not going to be able to get to a special one again. What you want to do there is do your stun, fire off a heavy, which will uh, reduce their power, drain their power a little bit, and then bait out their special, and then do it all over again. So that's another way to do that. Um, but I didn't need to do that, and I'm also running suicide, so that would be suicide uh, for me to try to do that method, but there's no need. Uh, you also don't need to have uh, five stars to do this ranked up five stars you can do this with four stars I would recommend of course that you max out your four star but bringing in a ghost and a sentinel even as a four star will help you a ton definitely doable this is probably the easiest variant that we've had so far all right, and the final global node is overclocked, which reduces the attack of all non-tech champions by 50%. All right, cuts it in half. 
Now, that doesn't mean that you cannot use non-tech champions. You can, but just know that their attack is going to be reduced. But if you're using someone who has a lot of attack power, like, say, Hyperion, then you're not going to notice it a whole lot. And the other thing that you can do is boost. Right now, there is a tech boost, 200% uh, power. Uh, but if you use a 150 or a 200 uh, boost up with some uh, damage, you know, the 8% or the 12%, that can help you out a lot, especially if you're using four stars. Now, I didn't use any boosts during my initial run. And I had two of the 12 percenters and I had a few of the uh, 8 percenters and I had some power. And what I did for two chapters during the exploration is I went ahead and boosted up. That sped things up so much and made things easier. Uh, there was a power gain spike, but what I was able to do on those paths is use Ghost. And once I got to my special two, I fired it off, phased. Usually I would have enough for another uh, special two, but they would normally be at a special three. All right, um, I got KO'd there. It is what it is. Uh, sometimes it happens. It's happened before if you watched uh, one of the previous videos where I lost my ghost. I'm still not the best using her. All right, uh, but in any case, those boosts help me out considerably. All right, and there we go. I got hit again. And now I did this all straight you know my initial clear was done in one sitting uh, what I would do is I would record it and after each one I would stop the recording make sure the recording was okay rename it and then jump right back into the next one so I'm probably a little tired uh, but that was just bad gameplay I haven't been able to blame the computer for a lot of shenanigans except in alliance war that's where the shenanigans usually happens and uh some days of alliance quest but for my entire run here not been a problem whatsoever all right so you can see here i don't have a lot of health on starkey but he's not dead yet and you really don't want to get hit anyway these guys have a lot of attack power and you take a lot of damage and of course, Starkey is a glass cannon. So all I did here was I built up my poise charges and then went to town. Now her specials are unblockable, but they're very easy to evade. Very easy, okay? Uh, so that is why I felt this particular path, I also looked at the defenders that I was gonna have to go up against. Uh, along the path and I felt that this one was much much easier than the other paths okay and so here we are I've got a special three and I said well why not I won't be able to fire off a special two until I do it but this might take her out and boom four percent sling it and she's down for the count I love Starkey he is one of my favorites to use in this game. Uh, Corvus and Ghost are the other two. All right, so now we are already at the boss and it is my girl Storm. Always liked her. How you doing, girl? All right, so you've got this Typhoon. All right, you've got a passive pulse and at 10, you're gonna be power burned. But if you fire off a special three, they're all removed. Rolling Thunder, none of these things are a big deal. Unblockable, we don't really care. Um, we can evade them all. And you see that she has uh, protection. Honestly, this is one of the easiest fights. Don't look at the nodes and get nervous. I want you to just watch how the fights uh, go with her, okay? So we start off with Starkey. You know, we've got other champions, but if you've watched my other videos, you know I like to go in first and soften them up. 
Okay. Now, Starkey has that little taunt. And you can see her specials are very easy to evade. Okay. So I got 1% health here. So I'm just going to fire off this special two and go down. Okay. Took off a little bit of health. That's all I wanted him for. Uh, that is a method that I often use when I'm going up against a champion for the first time. I'll go in with, say, my lowest health champion. Ghost is already down, but she can do this easily. All right, so I decided, you know, I'm tired. Let's just go ahead and get Sentinel in here. Okay, so you can see here, I'm hitting into her block. She's a mutant. And look at how fast those charges are up. And I'm at max analysis charge. Now, look at his damage. Look at the damage he is doing. It is ridiculous. So all you have to do here is evade her specials. If you know how to evade her specials, you're fine. I'm just trying to build up to a special two here because I know it's going to do a lot of damage. All right. Bait that out. And look at this. Look at the damage. It is insane. Sentinel is so OP for this uh, entire quest. So if you have a, a, a Sentinel, you're gonna have a great time. Last variant, it was Venom. This variant, it is Sentinel. All right, so that is the boss down, very easy. Uh, click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Uh, let me know what you thought about this video. Leave a comment, let me know how you did uh, on your initial clear. Hopefully this uh, video was helpful to you. And you all have a blessed day.